All right, I think I am in one of the nicest modded vehicles ever in an FS19. I'm going to say it. I just did say it. I think this is the best looking mod I've seen in a very long time. Check it out. It is a GMC 2500 HD Denali. It's all got all the bells and whistles. It's got the big old Duramax. She whistles. Once that, oh yeah, you can hear that turbo kick in. She's whistling. It's so nice. We have, uh, I'm going to pull off. Uh, where can I pull off? We'll pull off over here. There's so many features on it. There are some hinks and quirks about it that don't make it perfect. Like you can't see myself right now, but the interior is beautiful. Back seats, leather, uh, all black interior, all the gauges, knobs, uh, all that works. We even have Bluetooth. Like, are you kidding me? We have Bluetooth? Anyway, and then, of course, you have your stereotypical police laptop right there, which is always interesting. As a police officer, they can pull you over for being on your cell phone, but then they're on a laptop. I always find that interesting. Anyway, I'm going to quickly throw on the strobes. It's going to be pretty crazy. Anyway, the light situation here is super cool as well. Here are the strobes. Check it out. We have the running uh, dashboard strobes, and then I like this the best. Right underneath the GMC. And then you have the, I've never seen this before. I don't even know what kind of shape that is. It kind of looks like a triangle, but a trapezoid. I don't know. And then it has a caution in the back. Really nice two lights in the uh, rear window there. And then look at that license plate. It has license plate strobes, which is pretty crazy. Let's take a quick walk around of this beast. We have all blacked out American Force rims. And then uh, we threw a two box in the back. Uh, adjustable tailgate all the little badging all the chrome pieces like the bumper and I have this, we have this pretty crazy hitch on here I've never uh, it, it looks like it's adjustable so it can lower up and down super nice You can see the pin that goes there. So this thing is top to the bottom all decked out All right, then I turned up the vehicle volume and you can better hear this thing the the Duramax sounds great And then when you get up on the uh, when you when you get up into like the six gear You can it whistles really nice once you get above like 50 miles an hour. It's pretty cool and then real quick, I'm going to show you the best thing about it. And it blew me away. It blew everybody away when we first saw it. Let's jump in real quick. Here it is. Open up the hood. Here is the Duramax, the most detailed modded engine I have ever seen. Let me get a better view. Here it is. Here's the engine. You literally, you have the fan going in the front. It's really hard. To, I'm trying to get the perfect view. Uh, let's see. Can I go there? That's, that's not bad. There it is. If you stare at it, it's actually moving like a real engine would vibrate. Of course, like it's there's so much going on inside an engine. It's actually moving. Uh, it's so detailed. It, it comes with two batteries. It's just everything. Oh, my. It's just so detailed. Just look at it. I cannot get the best view. There it is. There's the view. It's 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. And this truck is I mean, just look at the filter on the end there. It's crazy detail. You can see the, ra the like ruffles in the filter, and it's clean too. So you know, of course, not too many miles on this truck. And then, or it's just been changed. Like just simple things, like the battery actually has a plus in them. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. You even have like the radiator cap, uh, the the coolant cap there that you can turn on and off, fill back up. Pretty crazy. Don't know much about engines, but that is a cool looking engine right there. This is gotta be the best looking cop truck. I've ever seen and maybe the best mod. Let me know what you guys think in the description. Anyway, the real reason I am on this map, I have this truck in front of me, is we're going to be an acting officer here today. Uh, this is the California map. Now, it is not our fire station. It is not anything like that. It is actually going to be our new home for our farming roleplay. Now, you guys, for those who watch the Midwest Horizon uh introduction of our farm we will be discontinuing that as i really only made one episode and we found this map and in this server that we created so i'm gonna be jumping on here we'll have a lot of people on here having a bunch of fun there's a john deere map there's a or there's a john deere dealership a, a whole semi truck dealership so much going on on this map we're gonna do some california farming which is never done before and i kind of want to look up what is growing in california so if you live in california let me know what kind of crops are growing in california if any um, and then we're gonna farm on it. So and we'll be doing a lot more too. way more than just farming on this map It's gonna be a lot of fun. So we are technically an officer. I'm gonna head down I want to show you guys a John Deere dealership that is so cool And there's a salesman more that called me down to come look at it So that's where we're going now there. We're going there now And then there's a farm for sale very close. That's pretty cool So we're gonna see the guy is retiring I believe or he's like switching industries selling it and then he wants to go into 
I don't know what he said he wanted to go into. Anyway, he's, I think it's like a retirement sale. So we're going to try and see what, you know, we're just going to look around. So I'll see you guys once we get down to the John Deere dealership. But like I said, this thing whistles. You can hear the old GMC just whistling away. Really, really cool mod. It's just, oh my God, it's just so cool. Look at the shrubs there. Beautiful mod rolling down. I can't wait to do some arrest in this. That'll be so cool. A, a, a pursuit. It's quick, too. It is not slow. So let's pull in here. Here is the John Deere dealership. Weird to see one with uh, with palm trees in the dealership. First time I've ever seen a John Deere dealership with palm trees. But hey, it's California, so what do you what do you know? So it will be a little unrealistic in the aspect or, or like the thought that we are in California. So just want to get that um, out of the way. But here it is, John Deere dealership. It's not crazy, but it is clean. It's small. It's uh, it's everything you'd want it to be. There's a there's a few older 4440s, 4020. They even got lawnmowers, everything the semi that's John Deere. I don't know if that's just like a painted semi back there or what. I don't know if John Deere's even made semis. I'm sure they did at one time. They actually made road bikes. I had one of them. Anyway, just had to just had to say that. Just had to plug it that I had a John Deere road bike. And then all right, I think this should be the salesman's truck. I don't know. He didn't walk out. I kinda told him I was coming around I was coming around this morning. So here is the dealership. If we start farming, this is where we're gonna get everything. And all of our supplies, any shop work we need done, any repairs on anything, this is where we're going to get her done. So, wait, I think that's him. Yeah, there he is. I think his name is Moore. I don't want to be careful. I'm going to, you know, I think it's Moore. That's pretty good. Okay, so we must have been out doing, uh, doing some services. That's pretty cool. Talk to him here. The nice sound of Cummins. How's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Welcome to Ravenport John Deere. Thanks. Location. Very nice. Yeah, this is this is nice. I I rolling in. I was thinking to myself, I've never seen a John Deere dealership with palm trees, but there's a first for everything, right? Yeah. And uh, it turned out. <laughs> look at this comment. It's it's John Deere green. Crazy. Gotta get it to match the business. Yeah, it's a good. When when I saw you rolling in, I knew you belonged. So. For sure, yep. that's so cool. So, uh, were you out doing some runs right now, doing uh, doing some repairs, some calls? Just going out, doing a quick service call. Cool, really, really cool. So, you guys have uh, some. You have somebody come out and uh, service anything that was bought here, or um, you guys. I'm sure you you do other work for people. Do you ever do like say somebody didn't buy a uh, John Deere from here? You would go out. And... We we service all John okay, Deere's all John Deere. from any location. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You want to show me around a bit? Sure. So we got our 9RX over here sitting. It's one of our biggest tractors machines that we've got sitting here right now. Uh huh. Yeah. I, oh, I didn't even see this when I rolled in. You should almost take kinda, down this, uh, whatever this is. Like bush, bush looking. Yeah. Yeah. I got it kind of sitting over here to where gathering the attention from the highway of course we also got our billboard over there with 15 percent off there you go you guys run that how long how long is that discount running that sale that is running for the next month okay and then of course we got our models here yeah there you go it looks really nice rolling in i i did do some uh, looking around without you, but I I uh, told you I was coming, so I was just going to wait for you. Yep. Of course, we got our newer style tractors as well. I can order four-wheel drive versions of these tractors as well as two-wheel drive, dually, rear-wheel tractors. Cool. Yeah, no, this would be perfect for the farm. Run around. It almost looks like the... Uh, almost looks like it's too small for the front loader. I don't know. It's just... The way your eyes look at it, I guess. Maybe it's the way that it's looking right now. Or like sitting. But. Well, the two-wheel drive ain't really made for the front loader. Yeah, that's the true. Four-wheel drives are. And that's the four-wheel drives are sitting probably about three inches higher in the front than the two-wheel drives. Okay. Yeah, that would for sure probably. That's probably why it's looking weird. I don't know. Yep. And we also got our two combines over there. Yep, saw those. Very cool. You guys need to... Yes, do um, garden tractors and, and then uh, zero turns as well. So Yes, we do. We got our zero turns here. Most of our zero turn 
orders, if we deliver, we use the rollback over there to deliver you the llamas rather than putting them on a load boy. Oh, you, you got a rollback over here? Nice. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. And this is a... An 8R? R, the 8R with the 8R X style tracks. Awesome. When did you guys get this? And is this a newer uh, setup you this have? Is, this is a newer setup. We're going to work on trying to get a. I've never seen this. Yep. It's a newer setup. We're working on getting the brand new ones coming soon. Hopefully the 2020s. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's so awesome. More. Well, uh, I'm looking to buy a farm. There's a few. There's a few for sale around here. Um, did you see the. I don't know what his name it started with an r or something but anyway there's a retirement sale uh like auction this weekend i was, yeah, I was he, maybe gonna he was actually thinking about buying a, that 9r right there that's right next to this 8r like recently isn't he retiring or getting out of what is he do you know do you have any info on him like what he's doing the only thing i know is he was originally planning on trading in the machine that he did have for this okay. and then I haven't heard anything since until just recently he decided he was going to get out of doing that. Okay. I, so. Honestly, I think he's going to start up a dealer. Really? What is he selling? What, do you, or what is he I thinking? don't know yet. The oh. only thing I know is word on the streets is he wants is he's going to become a dealer. Okay. I'm going to, I'm actually heading over there right now. So if he's there, I'm going to talk to him. If not, I'm just going to kind of look around East drop. Um, hopefully, hopefully he has some equipment out that I can look around. Yeah, and if you need any keys, uh, if you want, I can swing over. I gotta service one of his machines, anyways. Oh, true. Yeah. Do you want to ride together? Just in case he's not there. Well, I gotta not, take my service. Or, yeah, truck. take yours, and then sorry. Yeah, we could ride down. Yeah. Let's do it. I guess I'll show you the way. All right, so Moore and I are gonna head down there. I'm gonna just follow him, but yeah, I wanna. I've been really wanting to. I was gonna head down there, and I was like, you know what? What if he isn't there? What if he's, I don't know, running around? So he said he has to service one of his tractors, which turns out to be a perfect opportunity for me to go down there. So let's uh, let's just follow him, and we'll be on our way down there now of course this is the california map we've done a few episodes on here before so i'm sure you guys who watch the channel are familiar with it but uh really really excited to to start doing stuff oh he's making passes all right that is like a grandma or something right there we gotta make a pass on but really really cool map he's so excited to uh to do some farming dude just so many fun things on the role play here if you guys are excited too like i am please hit the like button of course Subscribe if you haven't already. We're gonna have a lot of content coming out here uh, this break and stuff So hit the like button and uh, show some love. Right, so I think this is it I think this is the road to it. I mean, obviously we want to take a dirt road to get there. So we must be closed Um all Right. Yeah, there it is. That makes sense My GPS is right too. So We are uh, yeah, we're gonna check this place out now. I am on uh I mean, technically I'm in a police car right now. I'm on duty as police officer, but I'm gonna be farming mostly here. Oh look at that cool gate. Oh that's so cool. Really cool entrance with the trees. Oh this is so awesome. Seems like you would almost need to trim them up though if you have some pretty big uh piece of equipment coming around here, but it is it's super wide, so I'm sure obviously he doesn't have a problem with it. Dang, this is uh this is some modern farming. All right, he must be around here. Yeah, he two pickup trucks. You said you got the keys to like all these uh, bays and stuff. Oh, uh, check it out. He's got a pretty big setup here. Yep. Dang. He does have one case tractor in here. I think it was sentimental. Maybe like a grandpa or like a dad or something had this. Yeah. Ooh, the Magnum too. Very nice. Very nice. If you don't mind, I'm gonna. If you want to work on that, I'm gonna go run around and kind of tour the place. All right. So first things first, he has the GSI. Check this system he's got going out here. Now this isn't messing around. This is. I mean, you gotta make this thing pay off. You gotta run a lot through there. So, and then I think this is his house. Yeah, that's his house. I'm not gonna go up there. 
Pretty nice barn there. I like the gates. I, I don't know. It's just like really, it feels very ranchy almost. Like it's more of a ranch, but I could really see us farming here. Let me know what you guys think. It's for sale and uh, we won't be on Midwest Horizon. So for those who are wondering, we um will be on the California map for farming. All right, so this is pretty empty. I'm not sure if this is brand new or what. I mean, it looks really nice, but he has nothing. Okay, probably shouldn't open all this. He has like nothing in here. Shut that. I don't know why I'm opening these big doors. I can always just walk through these little doors. But yeah, he has nothing in here. I don't know if he already sold some of the equipment and stuff like uh, privately before the auction. I really don't know, but pretty cool place. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, go in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think, what we should do in the future on this map. Should we buy this farm? I think I kind of want to. Uh, Morse tearing it up here. He's servicing one of his 84 or 8Rs. Oh, there you go. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.